and time for another story. Today I'm going to read you a story about monarch butterflies. Just like last week when we read some nonfiction or informational stories about insects, this is another one of those informational books. You'll notice some labels, some diagrams, and maybe even a few bold words if you're looking carefully. Monarch butterflies go through a lot of changes from the time they start out as a little egg until they become a butterfly. So as I'm reading, pay attention to what happens first, then, next, and last in the life cycle of a butterfly, and then you can help me fill this out when we're all done with the story. Ready? Monarch Butterfly by Gail Gibbons. A monarch butterfly settles on the leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg onto one of its leaves the egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. It is right there and there's a label showing you right where it is. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it is a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. So just like we read about the ladybug molting, a caterpillar also molts. Now something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Then the skin splits and moves up to the top. The skin falls off. A new strange form appears. It is called the chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green, decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first, and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when its fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste and will make a bird or animal sick if they are eaten, so most of them are left alone. We read the same thing about a ladybug last week. There are many parts to a butterfly. And here's a diagram that shows all of those parts. There are scales that make up the colors of the wings, the wing, the abdomen, thorax. There's the mouth, the head, and the antenna, or feelers. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden under leaves. Fall is on the way. Soon it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. 
the butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other mar monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over 1,000 butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades and butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of milkweed plants. So, the pieces that I'm going to show you are not from a monarch butterfly. They're actually from a different butterfly called the Painted Lady butterfly. But the Painted Lady goes through the same steps as a monarch. So it starts out as an egg. This is a very large version of what the egg would look like. A real egg would be very tiny. Out of the egg comes this little caterpillar who eats and eats and grows and grows. And he splits his skin so that he can have bigger skin underneath. After he has a full grown caterpillar, he'll attach himself to a branch or a leaf and he will hang upside down and then he'll make his chrysalis. And this is what the Painted Lady Caterpillar's chrysalis looks like. While he's inside there, he is changing. And when he's done changing, he'll come out and look like this. This is a Painted Lady butterfly. You can see on the back how he's got three body parts. And he's also got antenna. And he's got six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can even kind of see his little mouth that's curled up right there. It's like a little straw that he can uncurl and drink from the flowers. So let's talk about what happens first in the life cycle of a ladybug. Or of a butterfly, sorry. A butterfly first lays an egg. So we're going to write... Lays an egg on a leaf. So I'm going to draw that. Here's my leaf. And there's a little egg. All right. Then, after the egg is on the leaf, it hatches into a caterpillar. The egg hatches the caterpillar eats and grows and molts that word molts means that it is splitting its skin. Next, he makes a chrysalis. The caterpillar forms a chrysalis. And while he's in that chrysalis, he's going through all sorts of changes. And last, he comes out a butterfly. The chrysalis opens and there is a butterfly. 
something here. We've got that little caterpillar feeding. Here we've got that chrysalis attached to a stem. And then here we get our butterfly. Very good. All right. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you soon.